traditional four seam fastball where thumb and middle finger cut the ball in half. Traditional two seam fastball where middle finger and thumb cut the ball in half. Traditional curveball upside down C middle finger lays against that seam thumb cuts the ball in half underneath bury it and squeeze it bury it and squeeze it slider you just take what was the curveball and move it up to where you're throwing that part of the seam is a slider traditional change up grip you put middle finger and thumb cutting the ball in half this can be a circle change a flash ball now you're gonna move this was a curveball now you're gonna move to the opposite seam curveball put middle finger on the inside of that seam thumb underneath and that is a circle changeup. Now we have to go up top. Come up top with me. We're gonna do it without the ball. You're gonna go fastball, curveball. Half of a curveball is a slider. Half of a cur half of a slider is a cutter. So in gradations, it goes fastball, cutter, slider. Curve, curve. With one grip, Bert Blylevin held a fastball grip and turned him into fastball, cutter, slider, slurve, curve. Going the other way, fastball, a two seam sinker. Circle change. Flash ball. Now the only pitch where the thumb and the middle finger don't cut the ball in half is the split finger. Where the two seams come closest. You split your fingers wide of the seams. Don't touch wide of the seams. Thumb underneath, hooked on a seam and you just throw your fastball and it comes out like this. The wider your split, the slower it goes. The closer that your fingers get to the seam, the faster it goes. The only difference between a split finger and a fork ball, with a fork ball you split it wide and you don't use a thumb. So a fork ball is a split finger when you add the thumb into it that give you enough? Fastball, sinker, circle change, screwball. Got it. So let me see if I can remember how I threw my screwball. I would take it like this and turn my palm inside out.